So as I mentioned, so today the topic is Facebook Intermediate and we're going to have a look at getting started with some Facebook ads. So if this is an area that you haven't delved into before, this hopefully will help you just get that through that initial process. But if you have delved into it before, you know, um, by all means, please stay on online and we'd you know, love to hear some feedback from you as well in, in, in anyone's um, dealings with Facebook ads. So it's always good to have, you know, fresh discussion in that space. Right. So before you start, so some things you should really know before you get into creating any sort of Facebook ads. Uh, first of all, don't just go in there without an idea of an objective or an end goal. So just because someone said to you, oh, yeah, you've got to do Facebook ads, doesn't mean, necessarily mean you should be doing Facebook ads. You need it to be able to work for you in that space. So you don't want to waste the opportunity. You want to make sure that the budget that you're putting behind it and you know, the target audience that you're reaching and so forth is actually going to benefit you long term. So the objective could be a number of things. It could just be to raise awareness. It could be to increase bookings or sales. It could be just simply to get more people engaged. It could be to maybe push them to a blog that you've got or you know, anything like that. But just make sure you've got some sort of an objective. What is your end goal? And then, of course, your next thing is your audience. So who are we actually going to try and push this ad to? You know, it, there's no point, for instance, putting $50 behind um, an audience that's everyone in Australia because it just won't work for you. The beautiful part about Facebook ads is you've got the ability to target right down to your target market. So you could drill right down to someone who reads a particular magazine or someone who's just said they were engaged and looking for somewhere to hold their wedding or, you know, anything like that. Someone who's looking for landscaping or, you know, who's inquiring about, you know, eating in a restaurant or whatever. That's probably a bit broad, but um, your audience can be very defined right down to the exact person that you want to talk to. So make sure you go in with a very clear objective and who your audience is so that it will benefit the budget that you've put forward. The second one is what's the content that you're actually going to push out there to them. So I mentioned before, it could be a blog, it could be um, you know, raising awareness or whatever, but what is the actual piece of content that they will see in that ad? So is it an image? Is it a video? Is it a carousel? Is it, you know, um, maybe a series, maybe, a, sorry, a slideshow of photos, whatever it is, it's got to be good. <laughs> As we all know, Facebook is absolutely saturated with people and saturated with ads. So it's got to give someone a visual cue straight away going, oh, I want that, or I must go do that, or I need to use your service or whatever the case may be. So it's got to be very visually appealing. Um, otherwise, people will just either scroll past or they'll get rid of your um, ad altogether. So it's got to grab them. And it's that, it's that moment, like I say to people, it's that thumb stopping moment. So it's the same with your standard organic content. It's also the same with your ads. It's got to put people in their tracks to be able to actually um, use your product or buy your service or whatever the case may be. Next one is obviously your budget. So this will have a, a, a big dependence on how long your ad goes for. It will depend on, sorry, I'll just minimise this out of the way. It'll obviously depend on how big your audience reach that you're trying to get to. It will depend on, um, you know, what your end goal or your objective is really at the end of the day. So you need to work out what that is and there's no... I can't say to you that your ad should be $50 or it should be $100 or you should be putting this budget behind it because I can't do that. <laughs> because all these factors will determine what's going on for you. Okay, so it's really important that you look at this whole overall before you start. So it's not just about whipping an ad out and putting it out there in front of people, it is actually looking at all these different areas and going, right, what's going to work for me? And how and what am I going to do with that ad? So it's really important that you look at all of these. 
um, you know, more than happy to, you know, if anyone's got questions later and if you've got a couple of scenarios, we could look at that, that's no problem. But it's really quite hard to say, as I said, for me to sit here and go, this is your budget or this is your audience or this is your time frame, because all of these factors come into play. So it's really important to have a look at all of it. Okay, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, the big topic of discussion, and I'll very, very quickly go through this, is the latest update with Apple iOS um, on their iPads and iPhones and what that's doing and impacting with your ads. So where it's come into line, the quickest way to actually explain it is when you're doing ads, you should have a Facebook pixel that's on your website. So what that basically does is it tracks the traffic that comes from your ad through to your website. So ultimately what this new Apple update's doing and why Facebook is jumping all over the place with it and what you can do about it is basically what it comes down to is someone now can choose whether or not their private information is tracked. And that's all it is. But it is a big deal when you're doing Facebook ads because obviously you want to track that information. And if you ever potentially want to do what's called retargeting or remarketing. So this is when, for instance, you might be sitting looking for a new car on a web on Google, and then all of a sudden you're sitting in Facebook and here's that new car ad right in front of you. That's your retargeting, that's your remarketing. This is what Apple are trying to um, help you with to stop if you have to stop it or if you choose to stop it. So this is why Facebook is now looking at redoing their algorithms, redoing the way um, Facebook ads are tracking. So it's just, it's that second part of Facebook ads. So if you're not thinking about doing any retargeting or remarketing, and you're just going to stay in the Facebook ad realm and stay within that and look at the ad um, um, performance and so forth within Facebook itself, that part, there's going to be very minimal changes, but it's, it's in that second stage where there's going to be bigger changes. So just so that you know, and there are some things that you can do to help you alleviate that and to what you can do to make sure it doesn't affect you too much. And you can do some things in the back end. What I might do is I'll, <clears throat> I'll find the link for you in a second and I will share a link of what you can do to actually help you through that process. So it's a big, long, and there's a lot more uh, to it, but very basically in a very high line, just, you know, that's, that's where it's sitting at the moment with the Facebook um, ads and the Apple update. Okay, the other thing to consider <clears throat> with your ads is, and this is exactly how Facebook sets them up. So there's three levels. So you've got your level one basically is driving awareness. Level two is that consideration. And then level three is conversion. So what we're basically doing, and this is exactly how Facebook will show, um, will actually explain it in any of their workshops and stuff as well. This is exactly where it's come from. So you can see that the awareness is driving top of mind. So just purely just getting your message out there, your business, how, who you are and what you offer. The consideration is then actually pushing it to that one next level and driving that purchase intent through certain actions. So it could be a call to action to your website. It could be to book. It could be to learn more. It could be watch a video. Um, it could be um, go to an event, you know, anything like that. There's multiple ways that you can actually drive that purchase intent. And then obviously the last one and the main one for us is your conversion. So we actually want them to purchase or inquire or physically do something for you. So this is how then, if you ever have a look at, and if you ever had a look at their ads and the way they set it up, the very first thing that you do is choose one of these. So you've got awareness, consideration, conversion in the three separate areas. So you can see awareness. So it's brand awareness and reach. So it's getting to a bigger audience. And then you've got consideration. So it's driving traffic. It's driving engagement. <clears throat> excuse me. It's also, <clears throat> excuse me. It's app installs if you've got them. It's pushing video views, lead generation and messaging. And then your last one, of course, is your conversion. So it's physically them buying something or if it's not a product that they're purchasing from you, is it a service or is it something else that's actually your, your conversion for your business? 
So these are the three topics. So you can only choose one. So when you go through to your next steps in setting up your ad, you can't do all three at once uh, in one ad. I mean, you can't, you, you have to choose one from one of those columns. So very straightforward. Once you've chosen one, it will then just step you through step by step. And the beautiful part around um, the ads is every step of the way, they will actually tell you what each part means. <laughs> There's always this little um, question mark where you can just hover or click on it and it will tell you exactly what this particular part of the ad means. So I don't necessarily have to sit here and show you step by step because Facebook will do that for you. They've also got their blueprint, which is their training area on on Facebook where you can learn exactly step by step how to create your ad. So, but as I was saying, before you do your ad, those steps that I mentioned before, they're the things that you need to know before you get to here. So there's no point going into creating an ad if you don't know those previous points. Because once you get here, it'll be it's like blind leading the blind. Where do I go? I don't know what I need. Do I need awareness? Do I need consideration? Do I need conversion? So these are the things that you need to know before that. So if this is the first time you've ever created an ad, I would always suggest start in that first column and go for brand awareness or reach. Because that way it'll get you used to what's going on and how they and what the steps are of creating your ad and so forth. And then that way you can move to the next ones as you feel a bit more comfortable, a bit more confident with actually going through that next process. Now, this, as I said, this is a very high line of how to get started with your ads. There's obviously a lot more involved and there's a lot more discussion, but these, these are not for that. But there are modules and forums and so forth that you can go to in the Tourism Tribe and the Navi Digital, and they will help you go to those next steps. I just wanted to get them the discussion started with you today. Then of course, the big part, and this is the part that a lot of people don't do, is monitoring the performance. I always get a question about, well, what do I actually look for? <laughs> so once you've created your ad, it's always a good idea to make sure you're monitoring that along the way. So don't just let it sit there and forget it. It's not something that to do that. You've got to watch it. So if, for instance, the first part point that I've got there, if your clicks are slightly that lower than what you think, it could be look, worth looking at your call to action. Maybe that needs to be tweaked a little bit. Or if your engagement isn't where you want it, maybe it's actually setting up a different creative ad. Maybe the image or the video that you're using or whatever the content of that creative, maybe it's just not quite hitting the spot. So it's always worthwhile going in there and you can chop and change your ad at any time. You can stop it, you can pause it, you can update it, you can add things, change things. So it's no problem to do that. So if something's not working, then you need to go and fix it. And then of course, the last one there is if your reach is too low, maybe your audience targeting is out of whack. So maybe you need to go and rejig that for your actual ad. So. That's just some very high line points of what to monitor because sometimes, you know, it's all well and good for me to sit here and say, let's go and do an ad. <laughs> um, but then you don't know what the outcome potentially you should be looking for. So, and again, these will vary depending upon those initial things before you got started, what they are. So what's your budget? What's your objective? How long the ad's going for? What's the content um, and who your audience is? So these will determine your performance will be determined from that. So again, I can't tell you that if you're getting um, a 3% click through on your ad is a good thing because I don't know potentially what your ad or who your business is in the first place. So I can't give you, there's no, there's no best practice benchmark, for instance, because it's all individualized to each business. And I know that's probably not what you want to hear. <laughs> Um, but it's the best way I can do it to help you get started into this ad space. So um, I'm, I'm hoping I haven't really made it worse and made it even more confusing for you. Um, but what uh, would be great if you could go and create your first ad and then do it for two weeks or three weeks or whatever the case may be and just monitor it. And then definitely let us know how you went because we'd love to hear it. 
So if it's, you know, if you're looking for sales, if you're looking for click throughs, if you're looking for engagement, just let us know, say, hey, you know, we used an ad to drive awareness, we spent this much and we did it for this long and this is what our end results were. We'd love to see it. I hope that has given you a bit of a high line introductory level for Facebook, getting started with Facebook ads. So what we'll do now is we'll go to questions. Okay, thank you. Have a great day, everybody, and a great week. See you next time. Bye.